Hello, it's Karen here from Snowball to Pink. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, today I thought we would do these two very loose, easy watercolour florals in pots. Um, there is a little bit of drawing in this, but nothing too major. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, these are inspired from some of the pots in my garden, which I was out in this morning looking, and I thought, oh, that would be a nice project to do. Um, I'm going to be using my watercolour paper, a £150 watercolour paper, and my Winsor & Newton watercolour paints, uh, my size 4 Nick Pro watercolour brush, and my size 4 uh, Japanese watercolour. So this is what we're going to be painting. Um, what I've done is I've cut, um, well, I've torn down uh, some um, watercolour paper and it's going to be uh, a six kind of size. So anyway, this is what we're going to be doing. And I'll just set that aside and um, we'll get started. Okay. Um, I hope you've all had a good week. It's been really warm here in the UK, so that's that's been gorgeous. Um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to swap these around because I'm going to have the cut uh, the uh, the guillotined edge on the bottom and the deckled edge at the top. Now I'm going to be working on two um, two paintings at once, so we can skip from one side to the other now as i said before there is a little bit of drawing in this but nothing nothing too major so what we're going to do is we're just going to just do a nice uh kind of a curve um it's a bit it's a bit steep so i'm just going to lightly and then just straight across okay and on this one it's more like a terracotta pot you know you can go down at an angle that's a bit steep so um i've just mir mirrored these up because it'll be easy for you to follow when when i'm painting and it's just literally just just like that okay just a bit of a, a of a overhang and then just bring that down and just okay it's as it's as simple as that all right now you can make your your pots as big as you like but this is what I'm going to be working with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to work like this. Now we need some clean water. So I'm just going to just lightly, very lightly. That was quite pink. I don't know what I've been using there. So just ensure that your brush is clean and Inside our pot, I'm just going to not lots and lots of water. I'm just going to wash that in. Okay. And again, on this side, <clears throat> just our pot. All right. Just the bot. Don't do the top ridge bit. We're just going to. Right, and this is going to be our blue pot. Now, I'm going straight into the um, into the palette, and I'm just going to drop in this glorious blue. This um, uh, cerulean blue, and just I'm not thinking about this too much. I'm just letting the 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 paint just work just work with the um with the water that we've already we've already put down 
okay and again I'm just going to go into I've already got a puddle of lovely purple and I'm just going to drop that in we're not too worried about the colors mixing because they're they work well together um the purple and the blue so that's that's going to be absolutely fine and just just drop just drop the, the paint in that would be lovely okay if you just go into maybe into ultramarine and just drop in a little bit along that edge of the pot that would be good okay and just let that just let that bleed in we're just dropping our painting in at the moment okay so that's that one and then we go back to that yep that's still nice and done we're going into a uh, burnt sienna and just nice and watery and just offer that in just let that just let that move about on your paper okay and just follow that line where the rim of the um of, of the pot is not being a precious about this at all we're just seeing where the paint takes us with the, when it's working with the water okay and if you want to just drop in a little bit more of a stronger color you can do that okay just just have fun just to you know experiment right up to the edge right up to the very edge and just get your okay so there are pots to start with now i'm splashing a bit sorry making a bit of a mess there right so with a clean brush still using a size for nick pro brush i'm just going to just on the top of um, the lid, the brim of our pot, I'm just going to drop in some water, okay? Just, just to drop in some water, just. And you can take it as high or as, well, I caught that. I'm not going to worry about that. I might get a happy accident with that. So I'm just going to blot that out and blot that out. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a nice puddle of cerulean and I'm just going to, to drop that in. Just almost dancing across your paper we just want this to to give us a very nice loose um kind of a tint to our paper okay i'm going to go into purple now and just drop in a little bit there if you feel that your paper's a bit dry just offering a little bit more water that's fine and we're just literally just dropping in just push that out keeping in mind that these are flowers in a pot so we we're thinking about the shape that we want our our um, flowers to to go into so I'm kind of just doing a sweeping motion there okay if you think you're getting a little puddle of paint just dab that out you can get some nice effects using our um, paper tissue or um kitchen roll whatever you're using okay so right we're going to go into the other side now but
but I'm going to use more of a pink tones in, in this side. So we're just going to offer, and this is uh, Rose Madder. You've got a real lovely pop on this. It's um, a smashing colour to use. Again, just taking our, our brush up, thinking about the shape that we, we want for our flowers and just just using the tip just taking it out and then just pushing it out with our with our um with our brush the water will just help us move the paint and dilute it so we can get some really nice effects if you think that line's too heavy then just take your paper tissue and just just take it out and get some nice effects with that um, that's pretty good um, I'm gonna go into purple a softer color lovely and watery we're gonna keep this really very very loose very very watery and we're just we're just moving the tip of our brush around the paper okay and because these colors sit very very nicely together we're not worried about the mixing on the page on the paper that's that's absolutely fine okay again if you want to take it up a little bit more absolutely can there you go let's take that up Okay, and then we're just going to take that out. Now, just going to swap them over now and put that one that side. And what we're going to do now is we're going to start using our creamier consistency of paint. So I'm just going to take my cerulean and I'm just going to gather everything I've got on my palette and I'm just going to mix it in and just have a look. Of, of about the color that I've got there if it's too dark for you then just go onto your pot and just just drop some into your onto your pot onto the body of your pot that will if you need to just sharpen up the edge of your pot yeah this is the time to do it okay so again just we're just enjoying having the feel of the paint getting used to moving the paint about okay if you want to drop a little bit more in there absolutely get some nice Get some nice, um, just some nice uh, reactions with the paper, uh, with the paint and the water. Now, I'm just going to put drop it a bit of a stronger colour in there. It's a little bit too strong, so I'm just going to just take that out and just move that around my pot. Okay. Again, if you don't like it, just water it down and then just take it out. You get some really nice effects like that. Right, going back up into the flowers, I'm going to, again, activate, mix up, gather everything I've got in my palette. And I'm just going to drop in almost like a wiggle, but not worrying too much about... Um, what uh, it, it's difficult to explain really it's it's just literally going into your paint really nicely and loosely and then just pop it in and we're just wiggling our brush and you can skip over jump over wiggle jump over wiggle again and then just get your paint uh, your paper 
your water and you just you just breathe that out okay and again um, I think we're gonna activate this this glorious rose madder it's it is a beautiful color and I'm just going to just drop a few bio purple just either side of where we've just and the the paint and the water are reacting with each other and it's just giving us some really nice diffuse effects okay and it's just like that okay we're gonna go i'm gonna go in and activate my green now now i'm going into forest green and put it in my palette and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay down some some greens don't have to be too conscious of what you're doing again we're just tickling just t using the tip of our brush and we're just okay bring it down to the pot and then Again, skip a bit just uh, again just a little bit of water and then just just bleed it out okay if you want to do a little bit more here that will give us a really nice diffused look. Okay, just the tip, get up, go into our water and just take that right there. Just again, if it's you've got too much water on your paint on your paintbrush, just just dab it off on your paper towel, and we just literally. Okay, so I'm going to now swap back over to this, the other one, the, um, I'm going to call it the, the, um, the clay pot and I'm going to go into Rose Madder and it's a very strong colour so I'm just going to, again, just use the tip of my brush and just get these just almost going up into into nothing all right okay again and I'm just going to Okay, I'm just going to bend into my water, uh, my paint clean water, and I'm just just pushing that out again. I'm just pushing that out. We just get a lovely diffused look. Again, we just. Just literally pushing it. Now don't be afraid of putting more water, just water onto your paint where you've already been. It will really help you with the background of your of your painting. It will just create a lovely diffused look for you to work with. Okay, but it's literally just tickling. Just tickling okay okay I'm gonna go back to the pot now and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this uh, blue the cerulean and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop a little bit under the the rim there just going into 
it's quite a powerful color but i do want some pops if it's too much again just move it around your pot okay but i do want this kind of it's kind of like it's been out in the garden and um you know it's it's had marks of the season and the hot weather and the rain and it's patinated it so i think it would just give an interesting look if you want to put lots of water on there absolutely can and then with our paper towel we just go in and just blot out you get some really nice effects it kind of gives it more of a stippled look which is which can be quite nice i'm going back into um burnt sienna with the tip of my brush and make sure it's nice and watery just take off the excess and i'm just going to run my brush along the top of the of the rim of the um of the pot okay that bleeds up into there happy days i quite like that just let just help that along a bit that's lovely okay now i'm just going to go back in to um forest green and i'm just gonna pick up some green but using my tip and i'm just going to offer that in don't worry if it if it blends with your other it bleeds into the other um colors in your painting it's it's absolutely fine we don't mind that okay just make sure you it looks like it's coming out of your pot um, that's quite important the tip of our brush now if you want to just lightly move that about leaving in some stronger marks because that's quite nice And as you can see, we're starting to, to build up now. We're layering our watercolour paint. Okay. Right, just going to pop that over and we're going to go back to the blue pot, the ceramic pot. And there we go. We're going to just pop that there. Now we're going to start introducing some stronger colours, but first of all, I'm just going to run some cerulean just on the top of that um, lid of the of the pot and just give it a nice rounded edge all right there you go there so there we've got that so now what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to introduce some stronger purple hopefully that will complement our and we just wiggle that in now you can do as as much as you like if you want to go over your uh the green that you've already put down yep absolutely because that's what plants do, don't they? They kind of weave in and out of each other, which again, I'm not worried about the colors blend, uh, bleeding into each other. Again, I'm just gonna just, we're just layering up our color. And each time our value of our paint is stronger. And it's giving us a base from where we're working from our pot of flowers. 
Okay. I think we'll put a little, a little one in here. And then if you want to put a stronger colour in, absolutely. I'm just going to drop some stronger colours in here where I've already been. And let's have a look of, of what it's going to reveal. I'm going to get some nice effects from that. Again, I'm just going to take a clean piece of um, some water and just put that through there, like so. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm just going to put a little bit of more of this cerulean because I, I want to keep this one more leaning to the blues rather than the pinks and the, and the purples. I quite like that, those stronger blue colours. And as you can see, I'm just, just popping those in, just ever so, just ever so lightly. And again, tap off into the clean water. And I'm just, going back in. And if you want to give it a nice little floret at the end, you can. Or if you don't want to, just take your paint, paper towel and just take it out. Okay. I'm now going to go back to the, um, to the other pot. And what we're going to do now is we're going to use a stronger consistency of paint and that was forest green again and to this I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, of burnt umber in just to give me a more of a an olive green and we're just gonna just pop a little bit down here because this is where the shade is and we just want to Give it a nod to say, yep, yeah, this is where the shadier bits are. So we can just offer these. Okay. And again, if you want to just take that up, absolutely. Just bleed that out to give that lovely, soft, loose, diffused look. Okay. Now we're going into the top of our pot and we don't really want to do too much to that, really. We're just going to get right on the tip of our um, brush and we're going to really load that up and it's just on the tip and we're just going to pop just a little bit in there now if that bleeds up no problem don't worry about that and we're just going to give him a little bit of a an edge there okay So as you can see, it's coming along quite nicely now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll my brush in and I'm just going to do a bluey green 
a bit of wash. Okay. And then get my paper towel and just diffuse it a little bit more. Just takes that white paper away. Okay. Now, if you don't like that at all, you can take the whole thing out by just rubbing your brush all over, like so. And then with a clean piece of your tissue, you can just blot it out. It's entirely up to you. Right, I'm going to go back to the blue pot now and what we're going to do is we're just going to put the the darks into the um into the blue pot so I'm going into um this one is indigo blue and we're just going to just drop that into the pot okay and just add adding a little bit more water and then I'm going to carry that indigo up into up into the the flowers itself because these are there are darks in here. Now, if you want to go a little bit dark, you can do the small. Oh, that's quite a lot of black, but you can actually. Um, Put a little bit of black in that will give you a really nice dark without being flat um, so that'll be that'd be quite nice just again if you want to diffuse that out again you can going to put a little bit of pop of the rose madder in just to give us a little bit of a a contrast okay and if it bleeds in like like it did before we don't we don't worry about that Okay, just keep looking at your work and if you think yeah that needs a stronger piece of color in there absolutely just just drop that in if it needs livening up a little bit yeah that's cool you can go in and just drop some more some more color in there if you want to bleed that out a little bit absolutely take that up you can it's curling up a little bit I'll just bend that carefully over right now we're going to go over to this one and what we're going to do now is we're going to go back into our forest green grab everything up on our palette and we're just going to start pulling it all together now okay go into your water take off the excess and again just blend that in okay if you don't like that then off I'm just going to go back into the um, into the blue color again and we're just going to drop in a little bit into the top of the pot here and just 
So I'm going back into Rose Madder and I'm just going to put some really creamy, strong paint now. Very strong colour paint and put them, put more of a, a decisive marks now. Again, I'm just going to bleed that out. Going into purple, and we're just going to drop those in. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go onto our greens and just offer some little bits of colour there. Be brave. Okay, now I'm going to my size four Japanese brush and I'm just going to go into Rose Madder and I'm literally just dotting, just dotting this colour next to the um, the purple that we just put down just to blend those two in together okay and just dance your dance your brush now I've taken my um, my white from my Japanese watercolour um, paints and I'm just going to splatter on that and then on here I'm just going to just give a little bit of a just to knock it back a little bit okay and then I'm just going to Sprinkle and splatter on there and then we're just going to just run my brushes across there. Well, I'll call that done and I hope you give it a go. I hope you like it. Don't forget to let me know how you get on and um, hope to see you soon. Bye.